is there a better focus they could have and still do the game, still enjoy it on the side without having to commit to something that becomes another god? How would you counsel or minister to somebody in your church or that's just tuning in who's walking that line between wanting to be a faithful church member, be a vibrant member of a local healthy church, but at the same time allow their, their kids to play in, in sports leagues of various types? How do you help them thread that, that needle, walk that line? Well, they have to make some hard decisions. Um you, you can't really have it both ways. You can't be committed to the local church and commit to some of these club teams that require hours and hours of practice and days and days of travel and, uh, and then have your kids grow up thinking that church is a priority or God's a priority because he really hasn't. You've, you've exposed them to an idol in their childhood. To where, where Now they're worshiping an idol, their abilities or their sport that they're involved in their future, their hopes, their dreams, whatever, replace those hopes and dreams replace God's plan for their life. And maybe that's not God's plan for their life. So what I what I try to help people do is like think 10 years from now, where, where do you want your kid to be 10 years from now? What do you want them doing? I've had this conversation with people before. And they'll say, well, I want them to be godly young people. I want them to, you know, be married to a Christian man or woman. I want them to be, I'm like, that's great. I'm what, those are wonderful desires for your kids. What are you doing to help them get there? I mean, are you, is all this sports going to help them get there? I, I mean, do they have to have that much sports to really enjoy their childhood, especially in one sport? You know, like I mentioned with Ben, he was going from sport to sport to sport. Every eight weeks, he was going to something different, and it was never a lot of one thing. It was just, it was just uh, different things that were always in the community. Never a lot of travel. Never crazy hours of, of practice. And I've watched them take uh, positions on teams of that are two hours away from us. Mm. That require travel there two and. Uh, four days a week to travel, weekend games, traveling around the Midwest, doing homework in the car, completely disconnected from the family. Uh, and you wonder, what's the long-term effect going to be on these kids when when they get to the end of that commitment and find out that there's nothing really there? It was just, it was just a, a game for a moment. And is there a better focus they could have and still do the game? still enjoy it on the side without having to commit to something that becomes another God in their life, that's taking up time away from the God in their life. And uh, so it's hard to, it's hard to uh, communicate that because every parent's living this. It's like, my kid's the next one. <laughs> They're the, that's, I, you know, you don't understand it. I mean, I know there's a lot of good kids, but Mine's mine's just a little different. He's a little bit better than the next one, and and it's like, don't if it's God's will, you can't stop it. If it's not God's will, you might break your kid trying to get there. So just mm -hmm. help your kid to focus on what does God want for me right now? What is going to be my best benefit right now in my life? How can I find God's will for my life today, and and in the future? And how can I get there? What's going to be the best benefit? Is studying the Bible going to benefit me? Is memorizing some scripture every week going to benefit me? Is playing the little sports? Yeah, I, I think there's so many advantages to sports. I love them. I love sports. I love to play them. Uh, I love to watch them now. I love to watch kids. I love to watch high school sports. But I've seen even high school athletes that are they're good in this sport, and then they go on to their next season in this sport in the school – but they're still on a club team in the last sport, so they'll they'll have a game at seven o'clock at night, and that game gets over at eight, and their parents pick them up, and they they have to change clothes, and they go to another practice for a club team of a whole different sport. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the world is going on here? When do you do your homework? Mm -hmm. You know, when do you live your life? You know, normally, and it's it's gotten out of control for a lot of people. Yeah, I I like your comment about idolatry in sports. I, as many have said, our hearts are idol factories. If we let them run loose and sports, both for the player and for the parent, as you're pointing out, um, can be an idol. 